All right, um, we're going to talk about uh, repeating signs. Repeat signs. Yeah, you know, like, obviously a musician doesn't want to write out the same measures more than one time, and, and in almost every piece you're going to repeat some measure. So they utilize what are called repeat signs. And uh, let me show you what that looks like, actually. All right, um, a, a double bar line, right here, a double bar line preceded by two dots instructs, and instructs us to repeat the passage, right? So when we're playing along, we're going this way, right? Chugging along. And we we reach the, the this this colon I guess you you know what a colon is um uh, you you reach these two dots with the, with the double bar line well that tells us we have to go back and find exactly the same looking symbol with two dots and the and the double bar line so this instructs us to to repeat that passage. And now, if if this was, I mean, this is telling us that, th that this was not actually the beginning of the musical piece. If it was the beginning of the musical piece, right, you would not need this. You would not need this. Because you start, you're starting right here after the clef and the time signature. And you're going, you're going along and you reach the end of the musical passage that you want to repeat. All it's telling you to do is just go back to the beginning and start over. So you don't need this first one unless it's within the musical passage. And, and here's kind of where it might get confusing, but bear with me. So if within the repeated passage, you have to replace one or several of the last measures by other measures, you would use endings. First or second endings are used... Um, uh, especially here, and it, it would kind of look like this, right? So you would have to repeat this section with that, and and uh, let me show you the order actually. So let's 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 first number these measures out. Um, this measure is is measure one, from here to here. That's measure two, and really quickly because this C that represents common time, so this should have, you know, obviously a four four time signature, right? So this would be a half note and two quarter notes. That makes up four. <clears throat> that makes up um, the correct time signature. Four eighth notes and a half note. That makes up the correct time signature. Four quarter notes, or two quarter notes and one half note. So as you can see, it's obviously four. You know, four four. I just wanted to make sure that you're clear on that. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is the third measure. This one is the fourth. This one is the fifth this one last one is the sixth right so you would play this measure so you would go one two three four uh oh we hit a repeating sign right so we have first played um, one two three four okay we've hit this repeat measure <clears throat> now what is that telling us to do okay it's telling us to go back to that piece right so you have to go back all the way to the start. Play one and two, one and two. <clears throat> now it's telling us to replace this section with two, right? So what's under two? Well, that would be five. So instead of playing three, we now go to five. And the last measure would be six. So that's actually how it would how it would be played if you had to replace measures. So again, instead of going one two three four repeat one two three four, because of the one and two, it tells us to replace the section that's covered by the one with the section that's covered by the two. Uh oh. And um. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so that's telling us basically to go one two three four repeat one two. Five and then six. Now, if you had to repeat a larger section of the musical piece, so not just you know a couple couple bars, 
Um, there, there are two other means of repeating sections uh, using the following symbols. Um, you would use D S, which is short for uh, Dal Segno, um, and that's uh, that literally means um, from the sign. So this the, these two letters are used uh, when the repetition is intended from the sign. This is the sign right here. So when you see this in the musical piece, you'll use these two letters and, and it'll indicate from the sign you can repeat. Uh, the other means uh, are these two letters, D and C. And that means da capo, which literally means from the head. And you'll use this when repetition is intended from the beginning of the musical piece. Okay, so from the sign and from beginning. And I'll show you quickly what that looks like. And actually, uh, uh, these, uh, these, these two symbols are, are often accompanied with, um, with the uh, two phrases, uh, al fine and, uh, and tu coda. So you might see uh, al fine or to coda. That just designates where you're going to repeat from. Um, so again, let me show you an example of that. Bam. Okay. So again, let's, num let's number out the measures really quickly. So this is the first measure, second, a third, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So there are eight measures here. So the way this passage would be played is first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have this little this, this these these symbols right D C alfine right and that is telling us to basically go back to the start and play until fine so again this would the, the order of that that we would play this would be 1 2 3 4 nothing yet 5 6 7 8 we have something here now right so this is going to tell us to go all the way back here and play until here so that would be 1 2 3 and four. So this is how that section would be played. Now, two coda, let me just go over that quickly. That, that indicates to play the repeat section until the symbol that we saw here, right? So, so these guys go together. These guys go together usually. And these guys go together. So you'll basically see, <clears throat> again, instead of fine, this this symbol might be there, and you'll see a ds, so it'll uh, ds uh, two coda or something, and it'll come back around and go to this uh, repeat sign. So um, again, don't worry too much about this for now, but it's it's important that you you understand the terminology, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.